Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer who's looking to enhance their Android app's user interface. They want to display an EXO player view inside a circular frame while also overlaying another EXO player in picture-in-picture -picture mode. Sounds challenging, right? Let's dive into the details and see how we can solve this. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. To display an exoplayer view inside a circular shape, we need to use a combination of layout techniques. First, let's create a layout file for our player. Next, we need to create a drawable resource for the circular background. This will ensure that our exoplayer view is clipped to a circular shape. Now, let's set up the exoplayer in our activity. We will initialize the player and set the video source. Finally, ensure that the exoplayer view respects the circular shape by setting the appropriate layout parameters. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To display ExoPlayer in a circular shape, you need to create a custom container called Round Frame Layout. This class extends frame layout and uses a clipping path to achieve the circular effect. In the Round Frame Layout class, you define the position and radius for the circular clipping. For devices running Lollipop and above, you can use an outline provider for better performance. Finally, ensure that touch events outside the circular area are intercepted, preventing interaction with child views outside the circle. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To display ExoPlayer with rounded corners, set the surface type to texture view in your layout XML. However, be aware that this may impact performance and battery life. Using surface view is generally better for video playback due to lower power consumption and smoother frame timing. Use texture view only if necessary, especially for animations on older Android versions. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.